sir. <laughs> hey man, thank you. Well, thank you for everything that uh, you and the Spring Hill are doing for us, providing you know refreshments and location and everything. We really appreciate it. Anything for ready to do that? Anything for ready. Um, let me ask you this: What's what's your fondest memory of uh, playing with CC Ray? Um, probably. Uh, honestly, that, that loss we took, uh, yeah, we, Juanita Buckley. Buck. <laughs> and uh, we took a loss of Juanita Buckley, and I'll never, never ever forget, uh, we were back in the little room, uh, and I heard Coach Buckley talking. And uh, he was telling someone, uh, we, he was saying something about we were just, we were just a, a history. And I was 13. And I've never heard that word before in my life. Mm -hmm. And my fondest memory, memory is going back <laughs> and going back home. Didn't think about loss too much. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to know what that word right. And I went and looked it up and found out what that word meant. And, and it's stuck with me ever since. Right. You know, so the right. fact that uh, he was so intelligent, so good, and so smart, right. and he could actually reach out and touch him, right. even doing that loss, which hurt. Right. You know, I learned something. So one of the things that's coming out, uh, I interviewed Coach Bill Yusey from JL Man High School. And one of the things that he noticed was uh, about the CC Raiders was that the education piece, the, the discipline to uh, bring the report cards and things like that. So what happened, I ran into Angelo Sales from Anita Butler. He made a touchdown catch. Regardless to what rumors, you know, I have some family members, some cousins. Yeah. One of them, his father claims that his son made that catch. You know who you are. <laughs> now, <laughs> but Angelo Sales actually made that yeah. catch. And Angelo brought that loss up. You know, WHYZ came out the way Hampton High School. And you know, it's, it's shocked the city. But one of the things that um, everyone is taking away, and I'm feeling like you're taking away from that, um, I spoke to Guy Mosley, same thing. You have rivalries, but as we have gotten older, we, we understand now where the educational piece took us. And we still, though we lost that game, went to the championship. So. I think uh, we, we had there. We followed Spanky and uh, Mike. Uh, they followed Darryl Washington. And, but by the time we got there, I mean, I, I like the feeling of uh, having that educational piece as right. far as bringing Court cards and, right. and keeping the grades up. I think we were the only one that was doing it. Right. So that was great for us. And we had great community leaders right. back then, and we had some people to look up to. Right. So when we got there, right. you know, we wanted the, the next generation to look up to us. Right. And I think that that just is really transcending everything. So I was speaking with Guy Mosley, who was asked to play on the team, but uh, he didn't get a chance to play. Traveling games like CC Rays had. And he and Sanchez Gardner had a field fierce rival. Yeah. But they support each other to this day in their businesses. And he's going to be interviewed shortly and he'll speak on that. So, to your point, um, the winning was more about life. Exactly. The community leaders, the principals, that, you know, it was just not about the football games. So even with those fierce rivals, even our rivals and people that didn't get a chance to play, they still. Seem to respect. And that's that's the main thing. The respect that we got back in, back then. Down in transcended in business now. In, in people I meet now, I meet people all over the room. And the first thing they say is, "Oh, remember you played for six years?" Right, right. I made that catch inside the line up there. Right. And uh, you the, know, beautiful, the beautiful catch. Yeah, the beautiful. Catch. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> and I, so, you know, so Lance Swan and Star Wars had an effect on you. Yeah, I think Lance Swan, Star Wars, Spanky, Spanky's my idol back then. Right. Right. So he was a great receiver and I saw that he was a great person too. Great so, person. you know, that's the thing about that. Uh, Coach Garner and Coach Hill, they want they not only want to great people, right. they're great players, they want to be just, just great people. Right. So on those days when we uh when we played on Saturdays we were in Jersey on, on, on Friday, right. Right. the greatest day you know right. ever because we were so proud, right. we're so happy, and everyone's looking at that look at that too. He spoke to that. He said, I have to give up to you guys. You still, you know, were the dominant force in the city.
basketball and football. Yeah. And some people forget about football. I mean, the, the basketball yeah. aspect. So that's really what the point of this is, man. I look at the position that you're in. Yeah. You know, managing this great year president yes. downtown Reno. Proud of you, man, as a CC Raider. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just the, the, the principles that were laid into us then. What did you take away from uh, not just your fondest memory, but what are some of the other things that you took away from? I took away uh, the Coach Barney and Coach Hill was telling me that I can do anything. Mm -hmm. I can go anywhere and do anything. Uh, small, small example, I remember uh, when we first started practicing, the first practice, he turned to us and said, I'm real. I want you all to be uh, Mr. Red. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we were uh, looking around, uh, we were looking Red. And Mr. Red was a heel, right. huge heel. Right. And I said to myself, well, if, if I can do this, right. I can do anything. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so that is it. it gave me confidence, it gave me, but it, it still didn't be something that, that I did, didn't have before. I had a father, right. but Mr. Coach Hino and Coach Gardner gave me something that, right. gave me something that no one can ever take away, right. and that's confidence. Huh. So I really appreciate it. And like I said, we all, it's a brotherhood that, we, that no one can ever take away. Mm -hmm. That's a great brotherhood. So let me say this before we wrap you up. Is there anything else you'd like to, uh, to input? Uh, you know, what, what's something that you want people to know? There are some of the athletes that uh, I think their children or our children, you know, they, they don't believe these stories, but now they hear it from the mouths of other athletes and, you know, leaders in the city, and it's effective. Like, they're really proud. Uh, Juan Davis in particular, his son is like, wow, yeah. because we call him the Mike Vick before Mike Vick, exactly. and he really was. Yeah. Now, you were his receiver, yeah. and you took, he took the mantle of Jason Hill, yes. the prototype, yes. that dude, that dog, as CC I would call him. Exactly. Oh, he called all of those, y'all were dogs in <laughs> yeah. So, take, he, he thought that, that's a heavy mantle. Now, you were number 89, yeah. Spank. Well, Willie Spanky Johnson, hard to follow. And I feel like you followed well. What what was that like for you? It was hard at first, I mean, because Spanky Johnson was, Spanky was, uh, he was a legend. Right. Still is to this day. But I think well, what was started with uh, the coaches was a uh, foundation. Mm -hmm. And that foundation was, was built brick by brick, person by person. And for us, you know, we just moved through really layers of that great foundation. Right. And like I said, that, that foundation was hard and sturdy. And in that, in that community, for us, we got my field press, uh, Nickel Town, all those communities, all, all together. Even if you didn't like each other, know each other, you know, you came together for that one day of the one practice. And that, that was fantastic. I grew up with people that I would probably never meet before uh, had I not been on that football team. Right. And I, I'm thankful. Because for that, it just helped me, you know, um, twice for me. Right. So, yeah. Look, again, I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate the Spring Hill yeah. residents. And uh, you have a good one, man. And uh, we'll see you at the Black Top Fest. I'll be the premier. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.